I want to think about all of the different ways we can represent value in the number 20, 21.3. So one is just to look straight up at the place values. This two is in the tens place, so it literally represents two tens. So this is equal to 20, two times 10. This one is literally equal to one, it's one, one. And then this three is three tenths, so plus three tenths. But now I want to rearrange or regroup the value in these places. So for example, I could take one from the ones place and give it to the tenths place. So let's see how that would work. So we're going to take one away from the ones place, and so it's going to become a zero, and we're going to give it to the tenths place. And what we're going to see is that that's going to make the tenths place into 13, into 13 tenths. Now does that actually make sense, that I took one from here and it essentially added 10 to the tenths place? Well, let's rewrite what this represents. So we still have two tens, so this is still going to be two tens. Now we have plus zero ones, plus zero ones, and we essentially wanted to write that, 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 that one that we took away from the ones place in terms of tenths. So if we were to write this in terms of tenths, it would be 10 tenths plus the three tenths that were already there, plus three tenths, and so this is going to be equal to 13 tenths. Let me write that down. So this is equal to 20, this is, that's the color you can't see, this is equal to 20 plus zero ones, so two tens plus zero ones plus 13 tens, plus 13 tens. Let's do another example with this exact same number. So once again, 21, 21.3, 21.3, and I'll write it out again. This is equal to 20 plus one, plus one, we'll do that in the purple color, plus one, plus three tenths, plus three over 10. Now I could take one from the tens place, so that this only becomes, this becomes just one, and what do I do with that 10? Well, let's say I give, Let's say with that 10, I give nine of it to the ones place. So I give nine of it to the ones place so that this becomes 10. And I still have one left over and I give it to the tenths place. So that's gonna become 13 over 10, 13 over 10. So what did I just do? Well, I could rewrite this. Let me be clear what I did. This is the same thing as, this is the same thing as one, plus nine, actually let me write it this way, one plus, which I'll write it like, one plus nine plus one, that's obviously the same thing, oh, let me be, 10 plus nine, 10 plus nine plus one is the same thing as 20, and we're gonna have, and of course we have what we have in our ones place, plus one, plus three tenths, and what I wanna do is I wanna take this nine, the nine that I took from the tens place, and give it to the ones place, and I'm gonna take this one that I took from the tens place and give it to the tenths place. So one is the same thing as 10 over 10, and so you have, if you, when you regroup this value, you get this as being equal to 10 plus, nine plus one is 10, and then 10 tenths plus three tenths is 13 tenths. So that's all that happened here. I changed the value in the places. I took one 10 away, so I'm only left, I had two 10s, now I only left with one 10. And that extra 10 of value, I regrouped it. I gave nine to the ones place, so one plus nine is 10. And then I gave one to the tenths place. So one plus three tenths is the same thing as 13 tenths.